Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take some of these icicles and I'm gluing them together two and two. And we are going to make a bicycle for small kids. Uh, one of those you sit on and use your feet to move along with. Let the glue dry. Then I am going to make a mark by 3.7 centimeters. Here I am going to make a line. And then I am going to make a line here again. And that is by 1.4 centimeter. So 1.4. And here I'm making this uh, U shape where there is room for the front wheel. I'm using my scroll saw to saw out these small pieces and I'm actually making two of these bicycles so I made two of this shape that I just showed you. Here I have my parts all done. I have this one, this is 2.7 centimeters long and from this I am making this um, square piece. Just watch me here, just cutting it off. So I have this kind of square piece here and I'm sanding them and again I'm making two because I have two of these. I'm using my Dremel to make a hole in both ends of this uh, longer piece and then I am going to take um, the a piece with this funny uh, cutout here and just drill a hole through one of these uh, legs or what you call that. I'm taking my time and then I'm just kind of drilling into the other one but not the whole way through. Then I am gluing the two parts together just like you see me do right here and I like to clamp it so I'm sure that it will uh, sit in the right place when it is all drying up and let it dry from here before you continue. I have this little piece of wood again this is two of the icicles glued together and I'm uh, cutting out this um, shape you see here and it is 1.2 centimeters high um, and I'm just cutting it out roughly and sanding it uh, so that I like it. Here you see the little shape. And then I'm gluing it on here so that it is kind of leaning backwards. Just like you see me do right here. There you go. And please let that dry before you continue. Here I'm using some big matches that I have. And I'm cutting them out in 3.7 centimeters length. And I am going to take uh, to make two of them. Uh, here is the original matches, as you see. And I'm just carefully cutting them out with my X-Acto knife. It's easier than the scroll saw. And uh, do this carefully f a little from one side at a time so you don't get a squash squashed as edge on these and I'm sanding the top so they are nice and uh, smooth. Now we are going to make the saddle and here I am drawing a line by 1.5 centimeters and I'm drawing in the saddle design and when I'm happy I'm taking it to my scroll saw and sawing it out. Then I am going to take these parts that I have right here and glue together. First the saddle. And uh, you might let that dry before you continue. Then I'm taking my wheels. I uh, 3D printed these. You can make them out of wood. That is why I have the measurements here. You need two small ones and one big one. I printed these so that the big wheel is uh, going to be glued together like I did here. And when I'm happy with that, I am going to paint the inside of the wheel black. Again, you can use a piece of round wood for this. Just uh, keep the measurements um, around the right size. 
When the paint has dried, I am going to use an eye pin and I am taking one of these, putting it through the smallest wheel and cutting it off in length. I am using my super glue gel uh, to glue in this little uh, piece here with the wheel. Make sure that the wheel is not glued onto the wood. This way you have wheels that can actually turn. And I'm going to do the same thing in the other end or the other side. The small wheel, cut it off and glue it in place. Then I am taking one of the pieces from the leftover eye pins and I'm measuring here in the front part. I don't want it to stick out on any of the sides, so I'm just going to cut it into length, place the wheel and place the little pin. can be a little bit tricky, but it's working. I'm taking my wood glue again and then I am going to take these sticks here putting a tiny bit of glue and placing it over the hole for the wheel. This way the wheel will be uh, in place and I'm placing it in a bit of an angle and gluing the other one of these on the other side. When that has dried, I am taking another matchstick and these are the regular sizes and I'm measuring so that there is one centimeter on each side of these two uh, bigger matches so that it is sitting correct and I'm gluing it on the front as you see here and now you need to let it all dry before you start the painting. You can paint this one however you feel like but here is the way that I did it so I hope you liked this little video. Um, if you want the wheels that I 3D printed and designed uh, the other way around uh, designed and 3D printed, uh, you will find a link in the info box below for the 3D print file for these. Um, but again, you can use small wheels made of wood instead. Uh, maybe you can find some wood discs where you can drill a little hole in there and then that would work for you. But that was all for today. I hope you liked this little video and uh, please do leave a like if you like it. This way the algorithm knows that you like this kind of content and it will help me out big time. So thank you for watching. Happy crafting.